Hey everyone, it's Brian, your Honest Mechanic here. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question that's come up a lot. Does gasoline actually expire? And trust me, knowing the answer could save you from some pricey car repairs down the road. So why does this matter? Well, as gasoline ages, it starts to lose its effectiveness. Over time, it can lead to poor engine performance, clog fuel system components, and even cause starting issues. In some cases, bad gas can damage parts like your fuel injectors and fuel pump, which can lead to costly repairs. So does it expire? The simple truth is yes, gasoline does go bad, but it's not like milk that suddenly turns on a specific date. It's a gradual process that starts the moment it leaves the refinery. Most people don't realize this, but that gas you're pumping might already be a few weeks old before it even hits your tank. Let's talk about the different types of fuel because each one has a different expiration date. Regular gas with about 10% ethanol lasts only about 3 to 6 months. Pure gasoline without ethanol is more stable and can last 6 to 12 months. But if you add a quality fuel stabilizer, it can extend the life to 1 to 3 years. Here's a surprising fact. Fuel starts degrading the moment it hits your tank. That ethanol in regular gas is hygroscopic meaning it absorbs moisture from the air, definitely not what you want in your fuel system. Now, how do you know if your gas has gone bad? Let me tell you what I've seen in my years as a mechanic. Your engine will tell you first. You'll notice a rough idle, starting gets harder, and you'll lose power, especially when accelerating. That check engine light might pop on as well. If you can actually see the gas, look for a dark muddy appearance. Fresh gas should be clear to slightly amber. Trust your nose too. If it smells sour, that's a bad sign. If you see separation in the fuel, that's really bad news. Here's what actually works to prevent your gas from going bad. Keep your tank at least half full whenever possible. This isn't just about not running out of gas. Less airspace means less oxidation and less condensation. Think of it as cheap insurance for your fuel system. When it comes to storage, keep it in a sealed container in a cool, dry place. If you know your car will be sitting for a while, invest in a good fuel stabilizer. Don't cheap out here. A $10 bottle of stabilizer is a lot cheaper than a $1,000 repair bill. Just remember to add it to fresh gas. It won't magically fix fuel that's already gone bad. For those of you with seasonal vehicles like boats, motorcycles, or classic cars, here's what I do. Add stabilizer before storage, fill the tank completely and run the engine for about 10 minutes to circulate the treated fuel. If possible, store it in a temperature-controlled environment. So, if you end up with bad gas, don't risk it, drain the tank, dispose of it properly, clean the fuel system if necessary. 